Iraq Apper Ambil Kirian Antony, better known as A.K. Antony is an Indian politician and attorney who was the 23rd Defense Minister of India. He is the current Member of Parliament in the Rajya Sabha, from Kerala for the fifth term since 1985. He also currently serves as the Chairman of the Disciplinary Action Committee of the All India Congress Committee, Congress Working Committee, and Member of the Congress Corps Group and Central Election Committee. Antony previously served as Defence Minister for almost eight years, making him the longest-serving defense minister in India. He has thrice been the eighth chief minister of Kerala and leader of opposition once in Kerala Legislative Assembly. A.K. Anthony was born at Chirthala, near Aleppe in Travancore and was the son of Iraq Apar Ambil Kirian Palai and Alekhadi Kirian. His father died in 1959 and Anthony self-financed part of his education through odd jobs. Anthony completed his primary education at Holy Family Boys High School and Government Boys High School, Chirthala and completed his Bachelor of Arts from Maharaja's College. Ernakulam and Bachelor of Law from Government Law College, Ernakulam. Antony entered politics as a student leader in Chirthala Talik as an activist of the Kerala Students' Union under the guidance of M.A. John. He has been an active leader of many strikes like Oru Samaram. He became the youngest president of Kerala Students' Union in 1966 and also served in the Kerala Pradesh Congress Committee before becoming an All India Congress Committee General Secretary in 1984. When he became KPCC president in 1972 he was the youngest person to hold that post. He was elected again as KPCC president in 1987, and was defeated by Vyalar Ravi in the KPCC presidential elections in 1991. Anthony founded the Congress political party when he split from the Indian National Congress, a splinter group of the Indian. National Congress The party was primarily active in Kerala and joined the LDF ministry headed by E.K. Nayanar during 1980-1982. After the fall of the Nayanar ministry, the party merged with the Congress in 1982, but Anthony was not given any office until the death of Indira Gandhi. The members of the party have continued as a faction in the local Congress afterwards. On accusations in the Rajan case, K. Karunakaran resigned and Antony was made the 8th Chief Minister of Kerala, becoming the youngest Chief Minister of the state at the age of 36 serving from years April 27, 1977 to October 27, 1978. Again, when Karunakaran resigned in connection with the ISRO case Antony was made the 16th Chief Minister of Kerala, serving from March 22, 1995 to May 9, 1996. He was the leader of opposition in the Kerala Legislative Assembly between 1996 and 2001. Antony was elected and served a third term from May 17, 2001 to August 29, 2004. He failed to retain power on the first two occasions as chief minister. In 2004, immediately after the Congress in Kerala suffered a total rout in the Lok Sabha elections amid factional politics and infighting within the Congress party, Antony resigned as chief minister. He was succeeded by Umen Chandi. It was at Antony's behest that the decision to construct the new legislature complex was taken in 1977. During his tenure, he introduced the unemployment allowance, festival allowance for the state employees, prohibition of Eric and the steps initiated to revive the economy of Kerala. Several initiatives were taken in the fields of higher education, science and technology, biotechnology and information technology, under his ministries. It was also under his rule that the Connor University was inaugurated by bifurcating the University of Kalikat. The University of Sanskrit was founded in 1994. The Indian Institute of Management and the National Institute of Technology at Kozikode were established in the years 1996 and 2002 respectively. The Akshaya project was implemented in 2002 by providing e-literacy to the people those who have it and opening Akshaya centers in the remote rural areas of the state thus ensuring internet availability all over the state, aiming to make Kerala the first complete e-literate state of India. Several initiatives were taken in the fields of higher education, science and technology, biotechnology and information technology, under his ministries. The Infopark at Kochi was established in the year 2004. The IT at School project and introduction of information technology in school level were initiated in 2001 by 3rd Antony Ministry, making Kerala the first Indian state to do so. A.K. Antony Ministry 1977 Antony carried out Asian Development Bank aided modernization of government plan. He also liberalized education by allowing several private engineering and medical colleges to open in Kerala and champion the state as an investment destination. 
He also ordered the closure of the Kerala Coca-Cola plant in 2004 citing drought and the non-availability of drinking water. A.K. Antony presenting a copy of Sainik Samakar to Marshal of the Indian Air Force Aryan Singh to mark the centenary celebrations of the Armed Forces Journal Sainik Samakar, in New Delhi in 2009. Antony was a member of Parliament in the Rajya Sabha between 1993 and 1995 and was the Minister for Civil Supplies, Consumer Affairs and Public Distribution for a year in 1994 during the tenure of Prime Minister P.V. Narasimha Rao. He resigned on moral grounds as food minister in 1994 when his ministry was involved in a sugar import scandal, despite there being no allegations against him. Defense Minister A.K. Antony with 19th Chief of Staff of the United States Air Force Norton Schwartz presenting a model of the C-130J. Super Hercules in 2011 A.K. Antony with 23rd United States Secretary of Defense Leon Panetta in 2012 A.K. Antony with Service Chiefs. General V.K. Singh, Admiral Nirmal Verma and Air Chief Marshal P.V. Naik at the Amar Jawan Jyoti to mark Vijay Daiwas, 39th anniversary of the Victory Day of the 1971 India-Pakistan War in New Delhi in 2010. In 2005, Antony entered the Rajya Sabha and was inducted into the Union Council of Ministers as Defence Minister following Natwar Singh's expulsion from the Congress and Pranab Mukherjee's transfer to the Ministry of External Affairs. After the Congress again won the elections in 2009 and formed the government once again under Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, Antony retained the portfolio of defence for the second term becoming the longest-serving defence minister of India in a continuous stint for eight years. His buy and make Indian campaign saw the cancellation of billion of dollars in purchases of foreign arms, while at the same time stunting domestic production by restricting investments. He held the post of chairman of the Indian Statistical Institute in Kolkata, President of the Institute for Defense Studies and Analyzes and Chancellor of Defense Institute of Advanced Technology. In the Manmohan Singh Cabinet, Antony was the senior member of the Cabinet Committees on Accommodation, Economic Affairs, Parliamentary Affairs, Political Affairs, and Security. He is considered as political guru of Rahul Gandhi. Antony's political skills and long experience in government have also led him to heading a large number of committees of ministers in the government a device that has been employed to obtain consensus within the members of the governing coalition on contentious issues. In order to professionalize the civil services, Antony led in decision on creation of a central civil services authority to oversee the higher bureaucracy. In 2018, Antony is one of the signatories to impeachment notice against Chief Justice of India Deepak Misra. Antony is known for his incorruptible record and simple personal life and his intolerance towards corruption in public life. He was ranked among top 10 most powerful Indians for the year 2012 by the Indian Express. 10th Prime Minister of India Tal Bihari Vajpayee admired Antony for his simplicity, gentleness and his zeal for reforms and change as a way to ensure acceleration of Kerala's all-round development. After Pranab Mukherjee was nominated for the 2012 President of India election, Antony was placed as the second in command after Prime Minister Manmohan Singh in the Cabinet of India. WikiLeaks cables claim that Antony was the one of the only two leaders, the other being P.R. Desmuncy, who criticized Sanjay Gandhi during the 1976 AICC session in Guwahati during emergency when the latter's political standing was on the rise. Asking what sacrifices he has made for the party or the country. A.K. Antony with his family outside a polling station in Tiruvananthapuram, Kerala in 2009. Antony is a self-proclaimed atheist and is married to Elizabeth who is a Kerala High Court lawyer and is founder of the Navuthan Charitable Foundation. They have two sons. Notes. Thanks for watching.